welcome back to my channel. So if you're new here, my name is Huda and I'm all about interiors for your home and your soul. So I wanted to start this really fun series called Interior Therapy and it's basically how we can turn your space in this beautiful sanctuary. So today's topic is clarity and how we can create clarity in your home and for yourself. So I have these three places in your house that you can start applying this um, clarity. So the first is your living space. So living space doesn't technically just mean your living room, it can also mean your kitchen, your bathroom, your bedroom, your closet, everywhere. And um, basically where you spend the most time and you just do your living. So the first thing that I would suggest you do is just declutter the mess. I love to just get these organization um, bins and just put things inside of them and organize everything. And then when everything is nice and done, I love to decorate the space. So this can, you know, take a whole day for you to do or maybe just um, a week or two. Just take your time with this process because it's really, really important for clarity. It's the essential step into creating this um, clear mind is when you have this clear space. So take your time with this process. The next is your creative space. So your creative space can be anywhere where you use your talents. Um, not everybody is creative, but you do have special talents. Like everybody has a talent. Whether you're working in just the corporate world, you still need a space in your home where you can just organize that and you can concentrate on your special talent. So I like to have a desk no matter where I am in the world, even when I'm in a hotel, I like to designate a special space for me to create things. So um, even if you're a mom and you know you have your kids doing arts and crafts and that space can be the kitchen table, that's a fun place for you to just get little organization bins or little boxes where the kids can put their crayons or anything like that. So with me, I love my little corner desk in my studio. It looks out the window and I love to organize it and keep it in check. Like it gets messy during the day, but I make sure every morning I try to organize it so that way I can have this clear mind to create something beautiful because this is truly where the magic happens in your creative space so make sure you have a creative space and make sure you just decorate it and things that inspire you I love to put inspirational quotes I love to have a mood board the mood board is not just for the business side but it's also with little things that I like to collect and imagine how I can create a beautiful space Okay, the next thing is your serenity space. So this is a new space that I added into my life um, probably a year ago. And I find this space to be so important. I think everybody should have a serenity space. Basically, you can call it your zen spot, your serenity spot, your spiritual spot. This is a place where you can just reconnect with yourself and your source. And to me, that's God. I love to just stay in this space every morning. And it doesn't have to be big, guys. Like, it can be the most little thing in the world. To me, it's just this corner. I love to have this corner facing the window. I find it so important because every time I just open the shades in the morning, I see these beautiful birds like blue jays and red robins like greeting me in the morning. and I just feel so connected to God and I love to put my essential oils and just have the wind slightly blowing and especially if it's if it's summer but if it's winter I like to just keep cozy and then this space is where I like to just meditate in the morning talk to God and just start doing yoga and relax and I spend like probably a good 32 like an hour doing this of course I have my exercise that I also do but like I find it really important that every home should have a serenity spot um, you don't have to have a whole room for this but even if you're just not a spiritual person I think that you should have a place where you can just unwind and it's really important so find a spot in your home find a corner and make it this spot where you can clear your mind because you can't create clarity in your world without having a clear mind and the best form for you to reach clarity is in stillness when you can just stop and think of you know nothing basically just clear your mind so 
I find it really important to make Clarity its own collection and to me when I think of Clarity I think white and that's why this month's collection is all in white because it's just that pureness that you can bring into your life. The color psychology of white is just feeling purity and wholeness in it and I thought this is the perfect theme for clarity, the perfect color for this theme. So um, yeah, so having clarity is really important in your life because you can't really function without clarity in your life because without you going anywhere in life, you need to make sure that there's this form of a clear mind. Like when you have a clear space, both your mental space and your physical space, you can have a clear life and you can do better decisions and you can create this life that you really want because we're so stuck into this world that we think we need to do this and we need to do this and we're just bombarded with a billion things, a billion thoughts. Do you know that the average human has 70,000 thoughts? That's insane! According, Google, according to Google. Um, I'm pretty sure my thoughts are like a hundred or billion thoughts a day. <laughs> but um, basically it's just you know, your mind is just filled with so many things, so many to-do lists, so many things like that you have to get out of your mind and it just drives you crazy and it can make you depressed. And I know this firsthand that it's just not a good state to be in. And the best way that I realized that helps me is when I have a clear space where I can unwind, where I can connect with my source and where I can be inspired by nature and just feel everything at peace. And I know that once I have this done, I can create magic, I can connect with more people and I can use my talents and live a better life. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I really hope you guys take these steps into your home. And yeah, please let me know if you do that. If you like this series, please comment down below. And I really, really hope I can make more videos for you guys that you enjoy. Until next time, bye.